Sure. Um, I was partnering up with the CTIA uh, to to launch the money event, uh, which was um, a conference focused on everything to do with money, financial services, banking payments. And the reason that that came together was uh, because I was a mobile guy. I worked for Verizon for many years, and I was uh, in the founding team of uh, what is, I think, even now the largest joint venture between the three most fiercely competitive mobile carriers in the country, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile. And, and these three carriers came together um, around 2008-ish uh, to launch um, a digital mobile wallet. Um, and so that's how, as a mobile guy, I got into the money space. So now, uh, six years fast forward, I find myself squarely at that intersection of mobile and money. And so um, I'll be spending some time to talk about uh, what Jackie started as to w w why, why is it important for us uh, to look at these two worlds. And I was actually struggling yesterday. I, I came in here around uh, kind of the end of the program and I said, hold on a second, do I know this audience? You know, is this the audience that will relate to what I'm going to talk about? And I feel that, I feel that um, money, payments, banking, as dry as it is, and I can promise you, uh, this is going to be the least uh, you know, technology intensive you know, presentation you've seen the whole day. I would say, I don't have any fancy videos or graphics or datagrams or what have you, it's just basic boring slide where, uh, but hopefully, um, you know, hopefully you'll get something out of it. The point of commerce, obviously, is to compute a transaction. Right? You can do all the great things you're doing, um, and that's kind of you know that's a part of the brain that um, I wish I could I, you know, I wish I could exercise more in my world. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, if you have not uh, convinced a consumer to pay for something, you haven't really finished the task that you started with advertising or outreach or discovery or information. So that is that is the end part um, of of the commerce experience that we care about. Uh, so the money event is a partner event with, with, with CTIA. Um, we, we will talk about that a bit more in a couple of slides. Um, it's a conference that really brought the money financial services ecosystem to the mobile ecosystem. And Let's Talk Payments is the content platform uh, that supports it. Um, it is a, it's an online news, information, and insights uh, portal, uh, fastest growing in the world. We cover global innovation in this space broadly, um, and we've been able to achieve um, you know, a pretty substantial following in a very short period of time because of our focus and, and the way we go about it. So um, let me just jump into this. Um, you know, feel free to stop me. Let's keep it interactive. I know we don't have a whole lot of time, so I'll go fast because there is so many angles I could take here. Uh, let me ask you one question before I jump in here. How many of you had heard of Apple Pay before Jackie mentioned it today? How many of you have used Apple Pay? Right, this one. Um, how many of you have used Google Wallet? Right, that's not bad. So, I think I think this should not be then too far into you. So again, this is probably the most um, sophisticated slide of the entire deck. I don't have anything else but a word cloud, good old word cloud. So what I did was I got one of those free websites. I put in letstalkpayments.com, and this thing popped out. And I said, OK, that tells me what to talk about, because I didn't know what I should say here. I didn't know the audience. So now I think I have some ideas. So let's, let's go from here. We have a lot of things we could talk about. But then what we did really in September, kind of to jump off from where Jackie left it, we wanted to bring the money ecosystem, the mobile ecosystem. What does that mean? And why did we do it? And my premise uh, right, to kind of take a break from my day job and invest six months of my life into this was to really um, say the following, which is that the mobile generation um, is expecting a lot out of their connected life. And uh, especially in the world of commerce and shopping and financial services. And um, mobility and open platforms, they actually catalyze, they accelerate innovation in this space. Uh, you have so many different stakeholders here. And the challenge is to really um, put a box around what is money. And so what we did here is to really have an agenda, and I'm not going to go through every word here, but just to give you a flavor as to what the Money Event 2014 was able to uh, bring to the mobile ecosystem, we, we had to take a pretty broad view, ranging from banking, payments, uh, global remittances, fraud, authentication, security, shopping experiences, the concept of a transaction, uh, connected commerce in the automotive, right? So we had a track on connected car commerce. I mean, the way to look at the car now is that, you know, instead of holding a connected 
uh, right, a connected uh, phone, you sit in a connected uh, device, right? The car is a device, okay? And so this just gives you a sense of the variety of different stakeholders uh, that we had to bring together. And we pretty much had who's who of the industry uh, at the conference to talk about commerce in general uh, to a mobile audience. And kind of the nice so-called expected surprise, if you will, uh, was the Apple announcement on the same day. Um, and so that was, uh, th that was something that, uh, that was much appreciated by, by, who, right, you know, by the audience. And it, it was for us from the industry um, a nice validation of all the work that has gone into the space. And I was talking to Keith earlier. Um, it, there, is, there has been a tremendous investment in this space, but uh, it really it took Apple to bring it all together and to really catalyze the industry uh, that only a company like Apple can do. And, and the question really was, you know, why do I say that, right? Why is it that, that Apple could do it and, you know, there's, there's, there's not been that much traction on the, on the mobile payments uh, side before that? And here's, here's kind of, I just, if I were to just summarize, what did we learn uh, in this journey from trying to bring these ecosystems to the mobile ecosystem? Um, and I just highlighted a few things, right? So, you know, in general, I feel um, very optimistic about where we are going with mobile commerce and mobile payments. Um, and the next few topics are here's why. So the first thing why I feel so um, positive about Apple Pay, still early days, only one person in the room has used it, even though almost everybody knew about it. Um, well, why do I feel after being in this for so many years that this, is, this, is, this has a good chance of succeeding? Anybody can, wants to take a guess? as to why I put this chart up there. What is so unusual about this picture? Anybody? This is, this is the Apple keynote. How many times have you seen Apple put up third party logos, so many of them in their keynote speech? How many times? Almost never, almost never. They have pride for all good reason in their brand. They never want to put so many other brands in their keynote speech, but that's exactly what they did. Why did they do that? And my theory, my theory is that because payments is not just hard, but payments is also not a product. Think about that for a second. Okay, shoes are a product. Music is a product. Book is a product. A phone is a product. Payment is not a product. So the, it's a very high bar. You are trying to sell something that nobody really wants to pay for. People don't want to pay for payments. Think about that, right? Just because it is cool to pay doesn't mean I'm going to pay for it. So if payment is a utility, how do you sell a utility? You have to work together. And collaboration is something that, and this is something that um, uh, Bill Gates said to Bloomberg the weekend after, saying this is a major departure uh, in Apple's philosophy of actually working with incumbents, the banks, the networks, the retailers, to launch a new product which which they, um, which they are seeing success. So why do I think they are seeing success? Well, here's why. Um, the two closest competitors to Apple Pay, before Apple Pay, uh, Google Wallet and ISIS, now called SoftGuard, which, were, which is a joint venture between the mobile operators. So look at this, right? More Apple Pay activations in three days than Google Wallet or SoftCard in three years. Okay, it's amazing. This is what can happen when you actually take a balanced left brain, right brain view. Okay, you have to have enough of the marketing push, kind of exciting your base and you know teasing them with ads and all the good stuff that Apple does. You also have to have enough of the technology, security, um, depth. Right, all the investments that the industry has made, Apple brought them together. Right, tokenization. I'm not going to go into the geeky stuff, but having the balance between um, the creative side and the technology side, Apple brought that in a very collaborative fashion to the consumer. Because at the end of the day, you are not selling a product; you're selling a utility, and so you have to do this. And this is a validation that collaboration actually um, can succeed. Right. Um, Kind of going back to the earlier theme about, about you know, what is it that we are trying to talk about here? What is it that we, you know, we are trying to do? So let's talk payments, obviously, something that you should, you know, you should go take a look when you have, you know, a few extra minutes. 
we we try to cover what's happening in this space and if i were to summarize as to what that thing is it's it's pretty much the mobile generation and i i try not to use the word millennials because that artificially puts an age uh, bracket onto people it's not necessary okay you could have a 2 year old and we were talking about this last night you know the iphone uh, brought 2 year olds and 92 year olds together for the first time which was unprecedented and i call that the mobile generation it's not necessarily millennials and that consumer is a very sh- a savvy consumer right a very savvy shopper um the consumer buying process is not simple anymore it's not linear anymore it's not like i see an advertisement i like it i have the money in my wallet i go buy it it's not it is convoluted okay uh, in a good way because technology helps you uh, to helps you to go from a stimulus uh, to exploration to evidence to finding the deal to kind of going online or offline and then finally making the payment to actually close the loop in a way that technology allows this sophisticated uh, savvy consumer now if you as a retailer or a brand are not able to mimic that process then you will never uh, meet the expectations of this consumer so the main point of of commerce for mobile generation is that you have to be able to do that right you have to be able to anticipate and exceed the the expectations of this savvier shopper and that is at the crux of this apple pay ultimately will fail or succeed um uh, based on how quickly they open up their proposition beyond payments so um payments is just the beginning in fact they have chosen to start from the end they have chosen to start from number 6 and they will have to work backwards to number 1 and cover all of this if apple pay as a proposition has to succeed and along the way we will find other entities who will hopefully work with this ecosystem that they have now um you know catalyzed in my mind um very quickly just to give you guys you know a sense of the world that we live in here um you know just to just to just to share with you uh what some of the some of the opportunities and challenges are uh in this new industry and you know feel free to call me after or find me afterwards to go deeper because i don't want to wrap up so i can give mark enough time for lunch this is just uh, this is just sense i mean all of this activity in this space uh is is generating growth um there is cross pollination of talent that we are seeing happening i mean we had some discussion around you know how many folks from the agencies go to technology companies and vice versa well we are seeing this grand cross pollination right now between uh phone companies technology companies banks retailers um you know big companies small companies you know we have titles like chief digital officer at a bank i mean that was unheard of 3 years ago right so it's happening as we speak and uh, uh this is just an example of that finally uh just look at the number of investments right a billion dollars in fintech companies in a month okay unprecedented um unprecedented excitement about this space uh, where money i mean i should say mobile and commerce coming together um so i guess that's that's good enough reason for me to continue doing what i'm doing uh but there's a tremendous level of activity here um and again the reason i'm here now that i know why chick invited me is because well we are at the no, no, right so we focus on the number 6 uh but what you guys do is all about the numbers 1 2 3 4 um and so this is coming together this is coming together with technology this is coming to, uh, this is coming together with mobility and um feel free to reach out if you have any questions uh, i think we'll take some time after but uh, thank you